Efforts to pass immigration reform are breaking down completely in the Senate. While the White House is willing to grant amnesty for about two million people, the Senate voted down deals to do that. As many senators insisted on opposing the proposals that would have strengthened border security or ended the diversity lottery. Ultimately, the left's desire to allow more illegal immigrants to enter the country overpowered any interest in protecting the dreamers from deportation. Raul Reyes is an attorney and he joins us tonight. Raul. Good evening. Um, so there, so good evening. So I, I the, just the first thing which I, I can't resist bringing up to you. Mm -hmm. I, every news account I've read about the failure of this deal to go through begins by saying the future of the Dreamers remains in limbo, and I should be very concerned about that. And I, you know, I do feel bad for them actually. But a lot of Americans have lives in limbo because right. they're addicted to drugs, or they're unemployed, mm -hmm. or they're in poverty, as, as a lot of our country is outside the cities. Why should I think that the plight of people who shouldn't be here in the first place and have no legal right to be here is more important than the suffering of my own countrymen, which is being shoved aside in order to address their concerns? I'm, not, I'm confused. Right. Well, I think uh, the way, in my view, the answer to that question is that no one group of people is not necessarily more important than the others. When people talk about the Dreamers being in limbo, that's because of these court decisions, we don't know what their status is going to be of the program because of the failure in Congress to come to an agreement this week. We don't know if there's going to be any consensus about what to do about their status going forward. And I think when people ask me why should we care about them, what I generally say in terms of like the, the larger debate going on in the country is because that's what most Americans you know, they want they want it solved. They want they want them to be allowed to stay, yeah, legalize, or pass the citizenship. I think, I think that's right. No, but let me. So I agree. Mo Look, most people, people just want, want to settle. But, but hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think that's you know that's probably right. But there was sure. a, a report out last week that showed for the second year in a row, life expectancy for the entire American working class went down mm. for the first time in American history two years in a row. Mm -hmm. The coverage of that has been, let's see, none. And the coverage of the plight of illegal aliens in the country has been overwhelming. So again, it's a matter of proportion. Like I'm not, I understand it's a concern. Most people want to get it done, whatever. But is that more important than figuring out why actual Americans are dying younger by the millions? Mm. Do you well, see my concern here? No, of course. And actually, you know, I mean, I think for all of us in this country, that's something we all have our family members and our seniors. That's something we should, you know, to your point, we should all care about. I think our country, though, especially our government, is capable of, of doing both. You know, we can take care of our own citizens and look into some of these problems, and we can also address this system we have right now. I think you and I agree oh, but that, we in, in, in a sense, our no, immigration system is broken. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it's broken. I don't know. I mean, it seems like uh, if you thought the law was real, you would act on it. If you're not allowed to be in this country, you can leave and apply legally. I, wh why is that a bad solution? Why do we write laws that we ignore? Isn't well, the whole message of this, the system is a joke and laws don't matter? No, I don't think the system is a joke. I mean, for, especially for these young people, their futures, as you, as you mentioned, their futures are hanging the balance. They are very concerned about whether they're going to be deported or whether they're going to be allowed to stay. It's a big question mark. I don't think the system is a joke. I think what happened, what, where we are, are right now is that there is consensus in the American public that we should let these people stay here. Congress has not been able to move past the question of how to, how, how to solve that problem. And part of the thing, in my view, Part of what complicates this is that Donald Trump, whatever you think of him, he's been sort of an uh, unreliable negotiator because on one hand he's saying he wants a bill of love and he, he'll take the heat for something that would allow them to stay. And then this week we saw he went back to the four pillars, which was a very hard line approach. And I think it would be easier for both sides if he were willing to stake <laughs> out a consistent approach rather than going back and forth. Now look, the, the argument was what to do about the Dreamers, mm -hmm. the, the DACA recipients, about 700,000 people. Trump said, you know what, I'll let two million stay. Democrats right. said that's not enough. You need to legalize all 12 million. This is look, but why not? Here's my solution. How about everyone who is in violation of the law and doesn't have a legal right to be here can leave mm -hmm. and then apply because we let in a million people legally every year. Why mm -hmm. doesn't every person here illegally leave tonight? Some of them won't like it, but it is our law. And then they can come back if they get in legally. Why is that not an option? Well, I think for two reasons. Number one, for the economic disruption it would cause, you know, if we had all these people leave. And for many of these people, what happens, the way our laws are set up right now, if they are here illegally and they go, say, if they self-deport, uh, so to speak, and go back home and try and come back, there's on the law, they're barred for a minimum of between ten, three to ten years from even applying to come back. And those people do not oh, want so to do that. Oh, so that would be them. So that's sort of a, oh, a realistic, they don't want to be for them yeah, doing it. So people who can't 
came that here way. legally don't want to be hassled. Right. right. Okay. Well, no. So they don't. They don't want well, to go thank through, you. through that. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they? <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Uh, filmmaker Rob Reiner has been shouting for months about Russia's cyber invasion of America, using the word treason. How does he respond to today's indictments? He joins us next.